Welcome friends and collectors. You have joined me for an all new edition of Diecast Emporium. In today's video, I have a very special treat to show you all. This is by far one of the best vintage 148 scale brass models any collector can hope to acquire for their personal collection. This is the 148 scale CCM Holt Caterpillar 75 track type tractor. This model is hand assembled from individual cast and etched brass pieces and then hand painted. This thing, I can't tell you enough, is absolutely gorgeous. But before we get into the nuts and bolts, if you will, if you'll pardon the reference, of this model review, let's learn a little bit more about the real machine and the history behind it. The first commercially successful track-type tractor was designed and built by Benjamin Holt in 1904. The Holt 75 was powered by a 70-horsepower, four-cylinder gas engine, the tractor's ability to power through rough ground conditions, like thick mud for example, meant it quickly replaced the horse and ox. When the world went to war for the first time, Holt tractors provided the Allies with a dependable and effective way to move artillery pieces, munitions, and provisions across the battlefields of Europe. That's a little bit of information and history behind the real vehicle. Let's now transition to the model. All right, we're going to move the model out of the way here momentarily. This is the packaging that the model was delivered to me in. I did buy mine used from a CCM collector who has had a selection of these in storage since he bought these direct from CCM new. This is the box that it comes in. It is rather brown, aside from a CCM small sticker on this side. And then this is way more interesting, this sticker on this side, Holt. 75 Holt Manufacturing Company 148 scale precision all brass model Byron P Hunter edition serial number 60 of 75 classic construction models uh, Beaverton Oregon the licensed cat merchandise and the copyright information that's the packaging mine came with two pieces of paperwork or documentation this is your serial information uh, again, the Holt, the Holt Manufacturing Company, 148 scale, precision scale, all brass model, Byron P. Hunter edition, serial number 60 of 75. It is hereby certified that the Holt Caterpillar 75 track type tractor, Byron P. Hunter edition, with the above serial number, is an authentic registered classic construction model, one of 75 produced in a strictly limited single edition. There's the signature. And then this one, again, basically the same thing. But if you open it up, there's a nice picture of the model inside as well. Okay, back to the model. All right. So as I said, 148 scale brass piece by CCM. 75 of these were made in the total production run back in 2002. So this is as of the year that I am filming this, this model turns 20 years old. Back when it was released, it had an MSRP of $675. Totally made in brass. This model, as you probably could tell when I was reading the documentation, this specific Holt 75 is based off of Don Hunter's fully restored machine. Don Hunter is out of California. All right, so it is hand assembled from individually cast and etched brass pieces and then hand painted and decaled. Check out that decal work, the paint work. It is just absolutely impressive. Byron P. Hunter up here, number Caterpillar in the wavy graphics from the early 1900s. Caterpillar again back here. It is truly just a work of art. As it turns back around, when you look at the engine, you have Holt painted on the engine block, and then Caterpillar here on the side of the frame. Underneath Byron P. Hunter, you can make out Bradley, California, and again, right here on the front of the frame is Caterpillar written in yellow. Some additional features of this model, which I am not going to show you on camera, Individually linked free rolling track shoes with working track tensioners, drive sprockets, track rollers, and idlers. Obviously, it has an exposed engine, which does allow us to see the cooling system complete with radiator hoses and fan belt. So here you go, radiator hoses, uh, fan belt's going to be back here. 
Back here in your operator station, which would be over here, you do have, we'll let it swing over here to face the camera. This is your operator seat, very rudimentary for the time. Your steering wheel and a couple of your levers back here. Look at this whole steering column that would go to, obviously, the wheel up front. So those controls would have included the throttle controls, the clutch lever, the shifting lever, and then the friction levers. Back here, you do have the hitch that you would have hooked up any of your agricultural implements from, from that time if you were using this in farming. So any carts or any plows, um, Basically, again, any of your very early farming implements that you would have used. If you look up here, you do have this tarp that is obviously stowed or rolled up. But you could have, in bad weather, or if it's cold out, or if you're storing the machine, these would drop down to completely conceal the sides of the tractor as well. This is where your exhaust exited is straight up out of the top. You see the little exhaust there. If we carefully pick this up, here is your classic construction models logo. Again, your wheel. And I will carefully, just for you guys, show you that the tracks do move. And they are not linked. So this side moves by itself. This side will not move unless you move it. All right. So all in all, this CCM 148 scale brass model is another one of those models that several years ago, even as recently as a couple years ago, I never ever thought I'd have the opportunity to add one of these to my collection. Of course, for years, I've dreamed about the opportunity to have one. Gotta say, absolutely love it. Blows my expectations away. If you see these on the internet and you study the images, particularly the, the product images on CCM.com, although the pictures are great, any pictures on any computer or even in the books, don't do a model justice until you get it in your hand and you are staring at it. Um, again, all of the detailing that is done is just absolutely mesmerizing. And to think all of this was hand assembled with such care and such precision, and the model is 20 years old, but it looks as though it could have been assembled yesterday. It is absolutely a highly desirable collector's piece. And I think nowadays these go for well over 1500 maybe even more than that. It's hard to get a reference because from such a low production number of 70 models, um, or excuse me, 75 models, these rarely pop up on eBay or any of the auction sites. In fact, it's been years since I've seen any of these pop up on the auction sites. So again, it's hard to get a accurate gauge of what the current market value for these are, but uh, certainly they're worth way more than the original 675 asking price. That will conclude my model review. You guys let me know down in the comments section below what you think of this model. Thank you all so very much for watching. Please subscribe to us here on Diecast Emporium if you haven't already. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.